Across the globe, payment systems vary widely in efficiency. In the next episode of What's in Store, we will focus on different countries and different regions of the world to better understand the speed rate of digital payments, of new shopping habits. My next guest is Fabien Darnay, country manager at Ingenico France. It's on the terrace of Ingenico in Paris that we will focus on these trends of the French market. Lockdowns and curfews increase shopping uh, models like home delivery or takeaways. Home delivery uh, represented 12% of order volumes before the pandemic and has reached 85% at the peak of the first lockdown because it was the only solution for merchants to continue their business. As shops were reopening again, there's been a diminution of home delivery as people were consuming on site, but takeaway orders volume was six times higher than the pre-pandemic time, which confirms a trend for local commerce. Hi Fabien and welcome to this new episode of Western Store which is a little bit special because we are in Paris on Ingenico's terrace. France is going into its third lockdown. My question is a little bit um, opened. What have you noticed in this new normal? In 2020, digital transformation reached one important inflection point. The word digital was probably the most word used in the business. Just like the sentence, I forgot my mask, was in our daily lives. However, for us, 2021 will be the year for local commerce. Our figures show a considerable upswing in local shopping, which demonstrated a strong resilience. Digitalization will be an additional revenue, but local commerce is far from declining. Even if we see those stores close, and obviously it's not an easy time for them, we know and we see that local shopping will be better than ever. If you take luxury good industry, Hermes and LVMH forecast 30% of their sales to be done via digital channels. Their shops, their stores will act more like showrooms. Would you see this evolution for local commerce? Usually it takes five to seven years for local commerce to follow these retail trends like this one. In France, small merchants play an important place. People like shopping on small local markets and at their artisans, like for example buying their baguette hein, to their favorite bakery. It's in the French DNA and we are working with our partners, banks, distributors and maintainers to support them in keeping their business open. You mentioned home delivery and takeaway orders as trends. That's true and obviously contactless payments has been boosted. 48% of store transactions are made through through contactless payments. The payment terminal stimulates the strength and is now a point of interaction, but more like a point of engagement with the consumer by creating more intimacy with new payment methods, loyalty programs, and it also now a support of communication to advertise the brands and promote charity campaigns. Many merchants manage to maintain their revenue because they implemented these new ways of shopping. We see more and more business apps that are stored uh, in the cloud, uh, which transform drastically the point of sales. My next question is, is the future of POS in the cloud? Today, we are leader on the market for our ability in anticipating change. Just like our CEO, Gilles Grappinet, announced it, the future of payment terminals is in the cloud. The digital society is now, it's been created. We observe more and more the dematerialization of things. For example, the cloud brings a new use case, such as the dematerialization of the receipt. We are investing heavily in the cloud with the creation of the payment platform as a service. Nevertheless, the payment in its current form responds well to current usage. I will therefore speak of a natural transition which will take place in several stages. Moreover, the two payment architectures can live together. They also meet different customer needs and we will be there. So what's Ingenico's strategy in terms of offer? Ever since Ingenico exits, our roadmaps have been built around our capacity to anticipate on changes. For many years, we have been investing strongly in our Teto range and we continue to do so. 
Tetra responds well to payment uses, from the simplest to the most complex, with high reliability and security. Some merchants, some retailers, are having more and more specific, verticalized needs. They create more value by leveraging new consumer experience. As Ingenico, we were first in implementing Android in the payment industry. Android, which brings a business dimension to the terminal. You will find business applications such as ECR, reporting, delivery, CRM, and stock management. In France, we are launching this year our Axiom DX8000 on Android 10, with an app store and a global API program that allows fast integration of business apps. A question that is on everyone's lips. Are the terminals going to disappear? Why the terminal will disappear? All the signals are green. We bring value for the merchants, value for the consumer, and we bring services around the pit. Terminals perfectly meet the daily use of millions of French people. With a market that is more and more segmented, with more verticalized needs, there are as many points of payment acceptance as there are devices. Over the years, the terminal has evolved and brought major innovation at the time, such as contactless or now mobile payment. Today, it continues to evolve by bringing more business apps, new payment methods, and above all, new customer journeys. One of the best examples we have in France with GIE Carte Bancaire, we are bringing new contactless use cases, being the first to be certified FRV6. We are also members of Nexo Association and we work with them, along with them, in building new applications. Therefore, with the ascent of IoT and the advent of voice commerce, pin on mobile, tap on phone, the number of payment acceptance solutions and devices will be multiplied. Thank you very much, Fabien, for being with us today.